What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I have a Six Samurai deck profile for you guys. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit late to the party on this, but I still wanted to build them just because they're a lot of fun to use. The only thing though is that I really wish we had three of Gateway like the OCG had. Man, would this deck be so much better if that happened over here. But this is a Six Samurai deck profile that uses the brand new support from Spirit Warriors, where now we have the secret Six Samurai. So let's go ahead and go through the cards and talk about them as we go. All right, so starting us off, I am running three of Secret Six Samurai Fuma. This is one of the brand new tuner monsters that Six Samurai's gained in Spirit Warriors and it helps out a ton. I mean, there's a lot of different things that this card does for the deck. But not only that, I also want to bring up that I'm using three of Secret Six Samurai Genba. Because both of these, well, they kind of do similar things. They kind of work together as well. So they're both tuner monsters, Fuma being a level one tuner, and then also Genba being a level two tuner monster. So basically, when you have Fuma, you can go for like Kizan, and then, you know, he's a level four, you can easily special summon, and then go for Shien really easily after that. And of course, with Genba, basically he works really well with Kageki. So it's kind of like your Kagemusha, one thing of it like that, a newer version in a way, which then can also help you go for Shien. But the things that are really good about both these cards is first off, Fuma is also a great searcher for your Six Samurais, which means a lot in this deck, because you're going to be able to swarm the field, you want to be able to search, so that's really good. And also, uh, they can both protect your Six Samurais too. If they're in the graveyard, and one of your Six Samurais is being targeted and would be destroyed, you can just banish one of these cards from your graveyard. Either one, Gemba and Fuma both have this effect. So what's really good about that though, and what makes uh, Genba actually work really well with Fuma on that too, is that whenever Genba is uh, normal summoned, then uh, you are able to bring back one of your banished six samurais and add it to your hand. So think about that. First off, you have uh, Fuma on your side of the field, go for Kizan, go for a synchro summon, you have Shien, it's in your graveyard, let's say later on you're protecting one of your six samurais, it gets banished. Then you could just normal summon Genba, get it back, and then you have more opportunities to go for more synchros if you want to later on, or just set up the field the way you want to. So these work really great off each other, and two really good tuner monsters that can help you get Shien out a lot faster too, because yeah, we all know that you want to bring out Shien as quickly as possible so you can negate different cards. And of course, that's not all. I'm also using a couple more of the Secret Six Samurai. The other one I'm using is Secret Six Samurai Kizaru. And then I am also using one of Secret Six Samurai Doji. See, I'm just using one of each of these. Basically, they can come in handy, but they're not really as great as the others. I mean, first off, with uh, Kizaru, it's just more of a beat stick monster with that 1,900 attack, can do some damage. It still has that other effect, too. They all share that, where it's in the graveyard and you can banish it to protect your monsters. So that's something all the Secret Six Samurai share. So that's something that Genba, Fuma, uh, Kizaru, and Doji all share on that. So that comes in handy for all of them. So that means Genba can bring them all back for you. So that's good. But of course, not only that, Kizaru is really good just because it's another way to search for Six Samurai. It has to be a different attribute than the ones on the field, but a way to search for them, that can come in handy in a lot of situations. So that's why I like having access to this card and also, like I said, the good attack. And of course, Doji's extra effect too is basically being able to get one of your Six Samurais and send it to the graveyard. This is good because, again, you have Fuma and Genba, well, all the secret Six Samurai, which then you can use them in a graveyard to protect your other Six Samurai. So being able to feed them to, you know, from the deck to the graveyard, banishing them, and then being able to bring them to your hand by Genba, it's kind of another way to search for it as well. So that's the reason I'm running both of those, too. Then after that, we have kind of the normal Six Samurai lineup, honestly, because I'm running three of Legendary Six Samurai keys on. I mean, really simple. It's just uh, a good card you can special summon easily. And there you go. I mean, this with Fuma is like, you know, instant Shien, and obviously it's good to have. It's always going to be a staple for them. After that, also three of Legendary Six Samurai Kageki. Again, kind of the same idea on that. You can normal summon it, then you can bring out another Six Samurai right afterwards. And it's just there to either get some monsters on the field or also just go for that easy uh, synchro summon. So again, there you go. It's the same strategy, just as you guys already know. After that, I'm also running one of Legendary Six Samurai Inishi. Inishi is just good because, again, it's a stronger monster. It can power up, and you can just banish some of your Six Samurais and just get rid of a card that's bothering you. So it's great to have on that. It can get rid of some problematic monsters. And also, like I said, banishing monsters, not a problem for you when you have Genba. So it's good to have that option to have that card if you need it. And then also, I'm using one of the original Six Samurais. We have the Six Samurai Zanji. This is one of my favorites, too. First off, pretty good effect on it, but the main reason is that with uh, Kageki and also a cynicism of Six Samurai, you can actually go for Zanji. So it's an easy monster to bring out, another level four, so that can mean Xyz Summon, Link Summon, whatever you want to do on that. And uh, yeah, just having access to that monster, when you have another Six Samurai, too, they can run over most things. That's just good to have, so it's a good backup plan. 
And then we also have Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. I thought I would run one of these just because it's like, uh, it, it's like Kizan, basically. I guess actually supposed to be the older version of Kizan, but it's just a monster you can easily bring out, special summon, and uh, just help you out. So another monster I can get out there easily is a good thing because that can mean, you know, an easy link summon or whatever I want to do or just have some extra monsters. So I think it's good to ha have at least one Grandmaster for this. And then just kind of for, you know, monsters that aren't Six Samurai, I'm running one of Max C because, yeah, Max C is awesome. I want to draw cards and I need to draw as quickly as possible so I can swarm the field and win. So that's good for you. And also Glow Up Bulb. Glow Up Bulb's just kind of a cool tech to throw in just because it's a level one tuner monster that can obviously come in handy. It's one that can bring itself back even, which helps with Link Summoning too. And yeah, I mean, it actually does a lot for the deck. So it gives me access to like Natria Beast. And also, like I said, just get an extra monster out there to help go for like the Code Talker or something too. Definitely comes in handy. All right, now for our spell cards. These really don't need a ton of explaining because they're, you know, pretty simple. You guys probably know what all these already do, but here we go. First off, I'm running three of Six Samurai United. This is basically your draw card for six samurais. I mean, you get those counters on there, get to draw two cards when you have two counters on it. So with this deck, obviously, it's great to have because you're going to be able to swarm the field. I mean, that's with any six samurai build. And you can draw some cards out of it. So that will definitely come in handy for you. And yeah, like I said, got to draw those cards. After that, too, I'm also running three of Shein's Smoke Signal. It's a searcher. That way you can search for the six samurai that you need. So yeah, plain and simple in that. Just a search. After that, too, I'm also running three of Ascendancism of the Six Samurai. This card is obviously amazing. I mean, we've known that ever since it first came out in Storm of Ragnarok. It's still a great card to use. And yeah, like I said, with any of my Six Samurai, I activate this. I'm getting a free monster out of it. See, I can go from like having a keys on to then also having Zanji. And then, like I've said already, I mean, then that gives you options to go for different XC monsters or a Synchro Summon even if you want to, or Link monsters, or even the new Fusion. I mean, it just opens up so many different ways to summon, and it's a free Six Samurai on your side of the field. So obviously, that's really good. And especially good with United, because more Six Samurais out there, more cards you're going to draw because you're going to get those two counters really easily. After that, of course, I'm using one of Gateway of the Six. Yes, <laughs> it just won for us TCG players. That's the reason I sound sad. I mean, this card is awesome. Obviously, it's amazing. But when you can only use one, it really hurts Six Samurai on that. So if it ever comes back to three for us, Six Samurais are going to be on another level than they are right now. But right now, just at one, that's the reason you're not seeing too many Six Samurais. I feel like we'd see them a lot more if we had it at three, just like in the OCG. But maybe it'll happen eventually. I kind of hope so, just to see if they can put up a fight. And also, I am running three of uh, Shein's Dojo. This card's good. Another one that can gain some counters the more monsters you're bringing out. And it's just kind of a searcher for whatever Six Samurai you need. Also, I mean, you just need one counter to get Fuma easily. So basically with this card, I bring it out, use it, and then when I'm summoning my monsters, I can get access to like Fuma and Gimba because, you know, level one, level two. So obviously it's easy to build up two counters for, or no, or one counter for Fuma to bring them out. So with this card, usually when I use it, I have like an instant Shein then because basically I can summon one of my higher level monsters. Then I have like, you know, uh, one counter for Fuma. There you go. Or like I said, two counters Genba and it's just Shein instantly on my side of the field. So with that, it's a great searcher to have. And I feel like it's good to have three of them right now because we only have one gateway. Now, if we have three of gateways, I'd probably go to like two or even one of this card and basically probably switch around, honestly, on that. But yeah, since we only have one of gateway, I'm going to three of this. And then after that, we kind of have sort of your usual cards, I guess, because first off, Reinforcement of the Army, another searching card. There you go. Doesn't need explanation. Soul Charge, use a lot of monsters. Why not bring them back and then really run over our opponent? So there you go. It's good to have access to that. And then also, I'm running two of Pot of Desires. This isn't a card I like to run very often, but in a deck like this where you need to draw cards and do something quick, or you're going to get Link Summoned out of existence... Yeah, you, you want to have some draw power for you. So with both of these, I only want to have two of them. But I feel like being able to draw those extra cards to be able to make a play that I could that could win me the game or at least save me and maybe even uh, have a better field than my opponent really quickly, I feel like it's worth it. So for me, I'm running two of these just for the extra power. Again, this could possibly even change after we get Gateway at three if that were to happen. But I still feel like I need that draw power. And then, of course, Upstart Goblin, because, again, draw power, you want to be able to, you know, get a, an extra card and you're just giving your opponent some life points, you can take those life points back, not a problem. And then we're down to our trap cards. I'm just using a few trap cards, so basically just two of Solemn Strike and then also one of Solemn Warning. Yeah, 
just your solemn trap cards, honestly. You know, if my opponent's summoning something and I want to get rid of it, that's what I'm going to do. So that's what's good about this, especially if they're going for like a big link monster. Uh, it's good to have these cards anyway, I feel like, just because, yeah, they're using up all their monsters to bring out like a certain link monster or something. Then you can just stop that and there you go. The tides have turned in your favor. But yeah, I had the room for them, so I was thinking... I, I'm going to need all the help I can get, really, against a lot of these decks. I can just link summon for days. So it definitely helps to have those. All right, now moving on to the extra deck. First off, we have our brand new Fusion Monster, which is Secret Six Samurai Rehan. Uh, yeah, this card is actually pretty awesome. I think it comes in handy. Depends on your situation. I mean, you're having to get rid of three Six Samurais, which is the only thing I don't like about this card. Now, if it was, you know, like two, it'd be so much better. But since you're getting rid of three... It makes it a little tougher to use, but it's still great to have one of these just because it can get rid of problems and it's pretty easy to bring out. So I feel like it's worth having at least one in the extra deck. Then after that, of course, you got to have two of Legendary Six Samurai Shien. I mean, this is basically your main monster. You can bring it out so easily, especially with now with Fumba and Gimba. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. You got to have two of those, obviously. Bring them out and you just negate stuff, which is a lot of fun. After that, I'm also using Ally of Justice Catastor, just another easy to bring out level 5 monster that can, you know, get rid of other monsters. So, I feel like that's worth having in there, just in case. And, of course, for our last synchro monster, Natria Beast, because, again, I have Glow Up Bulb, so I do have access to this card, and it's good to, you know, go against different decks. I mean, you can negate spells yet again, so I feel like it's worth having. Kind of lock down your opponent a little bit with that. Now, of course, moving on to XC monsters, I am running one of uh, Shadow Six Samurai Shien. Yeah, just another one of the six samurais. This is the XC, obviously, for them. It comes in handy here and there, but it's just mainly there to kind of, if I want to go for that option. Most of the time, it's like Shein, or even sometimes the Fusion over the XC. But it uh, does come in handy, and it's good to have access to it. I mean, it's still a good XC monster for them to go for. Then, of course, since I can go for rank 4s fairly easily, I'm also running one of number 39 Utopia, then ranking it up into number S39 Utopia Prime, and then after that, number S39 Utopia The Lightning. So yeah, the reason I'm running Utopia Prime is just to get that extra material for Utopia. So you're bringing out Utopia, rank up to Utopia Prime, then Lightning. So then you can use uh, the Lightning's effect twice is the reason. So instead of going for like uh, Excalibur or even like Blade Armor Ninja, I felt like it was better to go for this, go for that 5,000 tech monster and be able to do it twice and do some serious damage. That's going to be good. So that's the reason I'm going with that and I want that extra material since I have a little bit of space to work with on that. Then, of course, after that, uh, we are using rank 4, so I have Castell, which, I mean, that's just a staple in anything like that. Gaga Cowboy, just in case my opponent has a little bit of life points left, let's get rid of those. And Tornado Dragon, because it's just a good rank 4, and I feel like I need some spell and trap card destruction, because I really don't have anything like that. So, I felt like it might be good just to kind of have that just in case. And then, last but not least for XCs, M, X Saber, Invoker. I do have access to this card, and I feel like, you know what, since I have, you know, a chance to bring it out, it's worth throwing in there just in case. So, yeah, this card's still really good, but, uh, yeah, you can actually bring it out if needed. I wish it was a rank 4 for this, though, like a <laughs> needed version of it that's rank 4 for 6 Samurais, you know? That'd be pretty awesome. And then, of course, I am running a couple Link Monsters, so I'm using Mrs. Radiant because we do have some Earth Link Monsters, so it's good to have access to this card. And then also Decode Talker because, yeah, it's basically a staple for anything that can that has an extra deck. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's one of the easiest to bring out Link Monsters. Does some damage, too. And yeah, there you go. That is my six Samurai deck profiles. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I mean, it was a lot of fun to uh, build this deck and also test it out. It gave me a reason to use six Samurais again, which was a lot of fun. I I'm really hoping, though, eventually we'll get three Gateways again or in TCG. That'd be a huge game changer for them. And I kind of wonder if they might get a Link Monster in the future as well. I mean, that could definitely help them out, too. So, let me know what you guys think about six Samurais, as well as uh, like this video if you enjoyed this deck profile and you want to see more deck profiles in the future. I've had a lot of requests for different things, so I'm working on those, and I'm planning a lot of different deck profiles, but if you guys have some requests, I'd love to know, and also if you're enjoying seeing these videos and you want to see more of them, let me know by hitting that like button. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more openings, deck profiles, news, and other Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.